Welcome to the I Ching Cafe. My name is Belinda Dovson and it is our weekly I Ching forecast for the week commencing the 7th of October 2024. Our first full week into October and looking at what this week is asking us to focus on. Last week we had hexagram 8 holding together with those three changing lines all in the outer world. Lots of challenges to us of understanding groupings. Who are we grouped with? What are they doing? Are they adding value? Am I adding value? Am I a leader? Am I the right person to take the front line on this issue? Lots of issues around how we collaborate and link ourselves with others to maximize what collectively we can do. And no doubt, groupings and issues of who you are grouped with came up for you to reflect on, like, Coming out of the quantum soup, it emerges the hexagram and it says, have a look at this facet of our consciousness this week. So I hope that wonderful insights came from that. Plus we had the lovely hexagram 35, progress. Oh yes, the sun rising above the earth, the ability to start feeling like you are getting somewhere. And I certainly felt that energy towards the end of the week. I was like, oh, okay. Ooh, a little bit of relief here. I can feel things are moving in a particular issue. Wonderful. So if there was anything that came up for you last week, please do share. As you know, we are now into October, which means that the October overview has just come out. Do go check out what the I Ching is asking us to pay attention to, because there's a lot to do in October. There's a lot for us to tackle and deal with, but there's also a payoff. If we do it well, that we can emerge stronger on the other side. Right, this week, the I Ching, what's it asking us to pay attention to? Our first hexagram for this week, our main flow of change we are working through this week is hexagram 64, before completion. This is the hexagram of finishing the big cycle. But we are not yet at the top, right? We have hexagram 63, which is the second last hexagram of the set, and talks about after completion. So we're like just in the process of the completion. But this hexagram, we are on that last push for the summit. It's a wonderful analogy to think about cycles and things that we are finishing, right? Our attention will be drawn to unfinished things and things we are trying desperately to finish off. Maybe that's a project. Maybe it's closing off a relationship or a client or the end of a notice period on a work change. What is this closure process? The completion of the cycle, right? That is with you this week, that is trying to get your attention and that is asking for your focus. Now, the thing with this hexagram, and it's just like when you climb a mountain, any mountain, but if you take Everest, I wouldn't know, but I've read stories that that last little summit push is the hardest, most treacherous, most life-threatening. And so when we reach the end of a phase, we can see that little summit ahead. We can see the finish line. We can see the date. You know, there's a, a deadline we're working towards, or I like call them done lines, because I don't want to be dead at the line, right? I want to be done at the line. So you can see the done line, right, coming up ahead. And you can see it. And so the risk is that you start to rush, okay? That we start to, oh, it's over there and we start going faster because we can see the end all right very dangerous if we're on a mountain and we're climbing and we don't give that last little bit of the summit it's do you care we can be in a lot of trouble okay so this hexagram will draw our attention to the finishing that we're doing the closure that we're busy with the projects that are important and how we finish well okay this can be a mantra that we can use this week. How can I finish this well? How can I finish this impeccably? How can I finish this safely? How can I finish this victoriously? Okay. It's about not just getting it done and ticking it. It's about finishing it well. And taking those last few confidence steps, but being cautious and focused, hyper-focused, on what you are doing as you put your foot, one foot in front of the other. Okay, two changing lines, third position, fourth position. 
They sit on either side of the chasm. The chasm is the gap between the upper trigram of three lines and the bottom trigram of three lines. Okay, so we're straddling. Line three. Line three, we are standing on the bank of the river because crossing the great water is a very powerful symbol in the I Ching of undertaking the challenge. In this case, undertaking the challenge to finish something. Okay, We're standing on the side of the river. It's a rushing river. And we need to cross. The time is here. The moment has arrived. The time to undertake and complete this challenge and complete this cycle, complete this project, complete this relationship, whatever it is, is in front of us. We must do it. And there's urgency around this. But we don't have enough power on our own. Okay, If we were to step into the river now and undertake the challenge solo, we're washed down river. So there's a process here with this line where we need to gather and help us. We need to have a very clear purpose in mind, right? A clear will, clear purpose. We gather in all our helpers around us like a fellowship bound together to undertake this. And we cross. Okay, we have had this line maybe a couple of months ago and it has such an energy to it of like, drawing in your focus, going over in your mind what it is that needs to be done, being crystal clear, all right, as to what needs to happen and what good looks like, drawing in your energy and your helpers, it was like sucking them all in into like a bound group and crossing, do it. So there's vigor here, there's focus here, there's helpers here that we need to draw to us and there is a sense of just being absolutely focused and one mind as we all together cross. Okay, that is changing line three. So it's a tricky line because we are about to cross that chasm. Okay, that's why we are needing all the help because we don't have enough help by ourselves to make this very important, pivotal move. It's a great move. It's a move that's on the cusp of great change for us. So we draw in our focus and we draw in our helpers and we cross as a team. All right, so line four. Phew, we're on the other side of this chasm. Okay, line four. We're over the worst of it, right? This is a line of go for it, make the crossing, do it, move forward, leave the past behind you, put your energy in, move forward, complete what it is you're here to do and undertake it. And to take the crossing and the change and the transition that's in front of you. A wonderful line of lots of energy. It does require courage, okay? But it's a wonderful line that says the things that you want to manifest, the goals that you have in mind are all tied up in this moment. Cross, do it, go for it. Let go of all the things you worried about, all the past issues, all the stories that you might have running through your mind. Let go of them. Make the crossing, do it, go, go for it. The door is open. It's a wonderful energy. We've had the difficult line, the line three. We're about to cross in this wild river and we're like, at the moment of pulling it all in and crossing. And now we just cross, go, 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 go. Wonderful energy. So this week with these two changing lines, there's some trickiness in the crossing. And to steal our resolve, steal our courage, draw it all in and undertake the challenge, make the transition, cross the great water. So where do these lead? We are working towards in the second hexagram for this week. <laughs> it's hexagram 18, work on what has been spoiled. Uh, how is this a victory? Well, because we have been working on completing things and our energy is focused on undertaking this, making the crossing, what it allows us to do is to work on what has been spoiled, to sort out the mess, okay? This hexagram is a corruption hexagram, okay? The garden has become corrupted with weeds, right? We're not making any judgment about weeds at this stage, but what we're saying is this is a garden, a beautiful manicured garden that has been overrun with weeds because of lack of care, lack of energy, and it requires vigorous energy to clear it up. Sweating in the midday sun as we pull weeds and we rake and we tidy and we prune and we really just tie into that energy of our monthly hexagram as well of stripping and clearing and biting through and focusing. 
So this week we are tidying up. You know, this can be literally getting your taxes done, sorting out your house, doing the spring clean, sorting out admin. You know, there are lots of different ways we can interpret what this might look like for you in the week. But wherever you have chaos in your life, in your business, your team, this is an opportunity to sort it out. And the I Ching is saying the energy we had of undertaking the crossing of this hexagram 64, when we're completing something, allows us to get stuck into this garden and actually sort it out. It's almost as if the process of completing one thing allows us to unlock the thing that we're needing to fix and sort out. I have a few suspicions of my own of where this chaos is, and so I'm going to apply my mind there in the week to come and just let whatever is the real main issue that you are dealing with, this garden, and let it come to you. But we all have chaos somewhere. We all have work to do. And there's a sense here that unlocking the change, crossing the water, gives us the opportunity to get stuck in and sort this out. An area that perhaps was a walled off garden that we knew had to be dealt with, but we didn't have a way in. We didn't have a way of getting the key for the gate and getting into this garden to sort it out. I wish you happy gardening. Happy crossing and courage and vigor this week as we do it together. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed it, please thumbs up or a like would be great. And of course, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell and the follow button for the podcasters. And I look forward to seeing you soon for our next weekly overview. Until then, take care.